Shalom. Call Holo Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakaha Kwadash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops, salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. The 144,000 and the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth among the heathen nations that look like those heathen. All right, this is not a black thing. And to the few Akwaf that are listening and learning, to you I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the of the Great Millstone here in Chicago, coming at you with another lesson in truth. And um, time is up for Babylon, man. This, you know, it's a couple things that this movie here, uh, the 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 rumor movie, basically in a nutshell, it's about. Uh, the G7 and the collapse of them. And this movie came out, uh, I believe it came out today. It started or started last last week. But the fact that this movie is released right about now um, as the BRICS nations are meeting. Look, there's 198 nations in, in the UN. 158 of them are going with the BRICS. That leaves 40. 40, 40 nations that are riding with American Israel. American Israel cannot win. The dollar will die, and they're going to try to bring in this, uh, you know, this draconian measures and the the the, the micro C hip. All right, the MOTB. The dollar is about to crash. They're having that meeting this weekend, and this whole movie is like a comedy horror slash thriller. It was a weird movie. But basically, it shows you that the G7 has lost its luster. The nations no longer wanted to, 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 to follow them. And they knew that their time was up. And it shows you all of them burning and all of their flags burning. And that's exactly what's about to happen. So when you take the information I just share with you and you couple it with this video that I saw uh, of, a, of a Bible that was, you know, maybe about it was 40 feet. Uh, water was 40, 40 feet high, I believe, or, or something like that. And, and this particular place and this Bible was uh, in the storm, underwater, and ended up attached to a, a fence on a post. And it was opened up on, on Revelation 14 and 15. And it's funny that the Edomites who found it, you know, thought that was a good thing. They have no idea what they're talking about. So, and I've been wanting to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to read through. Well, I probably won't do 15, but we'll do 14 today. And maybe I'll do 15 tomorrow or, or sometime. All right, soon. All right, but uh, we're going to read through Revelation 14. So this is Revelation 14 and 1, and it reads, And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount of Zion, and with him 144,000 having his father's name written in their foreheads, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, the new government that is going to rule over all of the world, which is going to be set up by who the world ignorantly and fraudulently referred to as, as that JC word. All right. Um, and that 144,000 is going to be that newly. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 15 and 50. And it reads, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. See those, the 144,000? 12,000 men from the 12 tribes, from each of the tribes of Israel, they're going to be changed, all right? We're going to be changed back into our, our godly-like bodies, okay? It, and, and, that's just, and that's a mystery, because that is going to be your government in the kingdom of heaven, which will be your judges forever, a seed line, a bloodline. Nepotism, heavenly nepotism. 
because we're all related, because we're all from the seed of Jacob. And you got these imposters, you know, have no clue of what any of this is about. These Christians have no clue. The kingdom of heaven is setting up the government of the Lord here on earth. All right. That's part of the mystery. Verse 52, in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trump shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall all be changed. So the dead in Yahawashai, all right, will be raised up first. And then the rest of the elect is all about his elect. All right. For the for this corruptible, that's us, must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. And that, and so we're going to get that on our way up onto those chariots. All right. Which they made up this 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 fantasy called the rapture, not knowing what's about, not knowing what that's. There's going to be no seven years of tribulation and all that madness is not scriptural. All right. That's when the elect get lifted up and get changed instantly. All right. So that when the corruptible shall have put on incorruption, the mortal shall have put on immortality. Then shall be brought, then it then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? So we won't die anymore. All right? The men of the Lord are going to be gods, just like it says in Psalms 82 and 6. For ye are gods, but yet ye shall die like men. That was talking about the, the elect. All right. There's going to be, you know, uh, ruling with the Lord forever. An everlasting government. Back to Revelation 14 and 2. And I heard a voice from heaven as a voice of many waters. And a voice of great thunder, and I heard a voice of harpers harping with their harps, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from earth. So it's very few little of us who are going to understand this. And this is why they reject the Bible is about the Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> Did not Paul say, are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. The Hebrew Israelites, the tw not the 12 tribes of Jewish, it's the 12 tribe of Israel, not the 12 tribes of converts. Remember Arthur Kostler, you know, that would have, have to have been a 13th tribe in order for these people to be Israelites, and they're not. The converts, and many of their scholars and rabbis and historians have told you, they just choose to ignore them modern day. All right. These are they which were not defiled with women, for the, and the women is talking about philosophies, all right? For they are virgins. That's not talking about men that's never had sex before. It's, it's talking about men who's never been in, in these, that, that men who don't uh, subscribe to all these false religions, Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Buddhism, and all these other things. These are they which follow the Lamb, that's Yahawashai, wheresoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and the Lamb. As a matter of fact, that makes me think of Ephesians. As a matter of fact, let me put a note here for Ephesians. One, I believe, is one through five, and then verse nine. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure I'm on point with that. Salaki, I'm just writing this note. Okay, so let's go to Ephesians now. Yep. Ephesians 1 and 1. Paul, an apostle, an apostle of Yahweh Hamashiach, by the will of God to the saints, the saints of Israelites. You're right, you can't grant sainthood, that old Catholic lie. All right, Catholic means uh, universal. The Bible is not a universal book. All right, it's an exclusive book. It says, To the saints which are Ephesus and the faithful church, and the faithful, to the faithful in Hamashiach, Yahweh, grace be unto you, and peace 
from from God, our our Father, personal pronouns from from the Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord. All right, which is Yahweh. All right, He's our Lord. He said, "Blessed be His Father, uh, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Hamashiach, according as He have chosen us." Before him from the foundations of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children of Yahweh Shai Mashiach to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. We're like those rings that were the Lord of the rings that were created and then scattered and they were special. And then at the end, they were all gathered up and we're going to rule. All right. With the Lord. Jump it down to verse nine. Having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to the good pleasure which he had purpose in himself. Christianity has been been telling its its same lie for five hundred years, and the world didn't change until the Hebrew Israelites, uh, uh, you know, the prophecy started popping off it, uh, heavily as soon as the Hebrew Israelites started uh, uh, going on the YouTube, the men of the Great Millstone. And started chanting down Babylon by bringing out and teaching the prophecies. And this thing has grown worldwide. And there are way more of us than what vocab and, 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 and that hate group, that hate organization, the Southern, whatever it's called, they're the real hate group, uh, would like to say. Because the, the facts that they have about us aren't facts at all. Except for the ones that they made up and the hirelings that they've hired to fit the narrative. Back to Revelation. Because this is that new song, the truth, which Christianity has, has taught universalism, and the Bible is not universal. They've lied. Um, I'm at, back in Revelation 14 and verse 6. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of the heaven, having an everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on earth. And everyone and every nation and kindred and tongue and people saying with a loud voice, fear God and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment is come. And the people and, and, and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains. All right. And who was that? That was Yahweh Shai. He did that. The Lord, uh, Yahweh, our father, gave Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, the, the authority and the power to to create everything. And the first thing he created was the archangels and the elect. And then he, the archangels and the elect who were there with him in the beginning, predestinated, that would be the, the uh, us, the hopefully elect. We were there in the beginning of creation with him. We're like those special rings that got scattered. All right. And time went on and time went on and all our punishments and our down. And now the Lord is gathering us up. That's the great gathering. The quickening. Okay. Let's go to John. 1. Verses 1 through like 4. It says, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And the same was in the beginning with God and all things were made by him. Without him was there nothing made that was made in him was life and life was the light of man. So every creation from pieces of paper to a paper clip, the Lord's fingerprint is in it. A, a, a righteous device or a wicked device. He's balanced. He, he does both the left and the right hand side. But everything created was created through him because he gave man the ideas and the thoughts and the tools and the and the elements and the things, and then gave put the spirit on them to find things and learn how to use them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And a lot of this technology that is being used now was used in the day of hell. They were showing you electric uh, uh, vehicles in the in the 19th century, in the late 1800s, uh, 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 elevators and and, and uh, electric sidewalks and and all those things. And they were created by Jake, so-called black man. All right, remember that part too. Right. 
Jake would create things and Esau created the patent office. So he put his name on every damn thing. Right back in Revelation 14. I think we're at seven or eight now. Yeah, saying with a loud voice, fear of God and give glory to him for the for the hour of judgment is come and the worship and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains and the waters. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all the nations drink the wine of her fornication. All right. Her philosophies use her, her, her system and her ways of and everybody. That's why and now everybody's twerking and doing all kind of wickedness. All right. All that confusion is, is from the West. That's why in this this rumors movie, it showed you the West burning all their flags burning at the end, man. It's over. It's over. And they made mockery of all their leaders and Clay, Kate Blanchett played. I think she played the uh, the woman. Uh, she was in control of Germany. And the only Jake on it was, of course, the you know, the ninja woman, not a man, but the ninja woman. All right. I think she was there representing Britain. If I'm not mistaken. And the dude from Canada was banging all the women that he, Kate, the, the ninja woman, the other chick that burned herself alive. They're sitting by the giant brain with him. It's all kind of weird shit, man. All right. But nevertheless, let's get back into it. Movie is worth watching, though. OK, they, they Esau really tells on himself. All right. And they know that they're going down. They know that this is it for them. And he kind of admit to some of their devilment too. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, it says she made all the nations drink the wine of, of wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead and in his hand, that same shall drink the, the wine and the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture in a cup of his indignation, he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and, a, and, and the presence of the Lamb. All right, so the angels and the, and the, and the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shai, are going to watch you burn if you take that mark so that you can participate in the society with Bill, with uh, Kill, Kill Gates. All right, or Kill Bates. <laughs> All right. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night, who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever received the mark of his name. All right? So you, you take that, you know, that, that karagma, that's it for you. There's no coming back for that. And you got camps that uh, that told people to take the band-aid. They're going to tell people to take the, the, the karagma too. These paid hirelings, these 501c3 merchandising, merchandising camps that worry more about merchandising and, and preaching a soft gospel to, uh, to, to, to women so that they can get them to uh, keep, keep that money coming in. All right. Verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Once again. We're talking about the elect, okay? And so the Lord, and the Lord is getting ready to burn and destroy Babylon. So let's go to uh, Peter. And there's many scriptures. I'm just, you know, going off the ones that, that popped up in my head um, as I was reading. Second Peter. Like it. Yeah, the second Peter three and ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also shall work. Uh, that are therein shall be then the works that are therein shall be burned up and that's all they're talking about now on the news is is uh is nuclear war now what you people have to understand is that world war three has already begun 
All right. And it's just going to continue to get worse and, and everything's going to collapse here as a result of it. Because, they, you know, the lights are going to go out. The, we're going to run out of oil. We're going to run out of food. We're going to run out of water. It's going to be dog eat dog. And then the, and the way that they're going to promise to fix this, it, it, this whole thing, the dollar's going to crash, hyperinflation, and it's going to be bad out here. And they're going to be trying to round up the people of the Lord. And, and then the civil war is going to be going on and, and the race wars and all, all the all that madness is about to happen. All right. And then all of a sudden, you know, they're going to come out and make and say that we can fix this. And if you don't take it, you can't participate in society. And when they start making forcing people to take the, you know, the MOTB, that's when this what I'm reading is going to happen. That's when the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. Right, because right as they're about to fill their belly, that's another precept I could have got. All right, but it says, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of God? So we, you, you believe in the Lord, you should be looking forward to this. I know I am. What for the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What's well, going to melt the concrete and metal? And then the tower is really going to come down. All right. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, that's the, that's the predestinated elect, the 144,000 with that new song that these people don't want to accept, even though it's right there in the scriptures. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness because there's no righteousness here. No fair, no, no proper judgment, unrighteous judgment, unrighteous decrees, uh, uh, unrighteous taxation, extortion is what we go through. Then if you get caught up in a system, they throw you in prison and make you a slave, a double slave. Because if you work in a job, you're a slave, but you go to prison, you're a double slave. All right. You're, you're because we're all in prison. America is one gigantic prison. You know, and there's, and the way they keep taking away your rights, you're going to, a lot of you that don't want to see that and want to look the other way, have cognitive dissonance, you're going to learn that you're no different from a cellmate that, you know, that, I mean, from somebody in the cell, you just got freedom to move around the entire prison from state to state. But that's all going to get taken away too, because they want to make 15 minute cities. So eventually they have their way. You're going to be stuck in a 15 minute city and then that'll be the farthest you can go unless you get special permission which they're probably not going to grant to, to many people. That's where we're headed. And the Lord's not going to allow them to get that far. For when they're about to fill their belly, this thing is about to go down, man. It's about, it's actually about to happen. You know, try to get that glare off on where it's coming from. All right. This thing is, is, is happening. Let's go back to this revelation. 14. And here it is. Uh, and I'm at uh, what was that? Oh, yeah, I read that. Yeah, 13. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, ble right. Blessed are the dead which die in, in the Lord for henceforth, yeah, saith the spirit that he may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. So for those of us brothers that died in this truth, died serving Yahweh Hashem, I was shot, their works follow them. Many of them, they're still, their videos are still up. All right. And, and these are some of the some of the few brothers that I know in Great Millstone, including some of the uh, brothers who are out there doing it like uh, uh Priest my lawyer, his videos are still up all these years later. You still can go get edified by him. They haven't taken down, you know, his video. You can still find Priest my lawyer's videos, man. All right. Uh, verse 15. Another angel came out of the temple crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud. Thrust in thy sickle and reap for the time has come for thy to reap. For the harvest of the earth is ripe. The Lord's coming with a sickle. The Lord is the true uh, uh, grim reaper, and he's coming to kill. He said he wasn't going to greet you as a man. All right. That's in Isaiah, I believe, 47. All right. And he that sat on the cloud, thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was, was reaped. 
All right. And, and when he in that cloud is talking about the chariots of Israel, the giant fathership, what you are, what they're calling in the news and in the in the media, UAPs and UFOs. They don't want to acknowledge what they really are. All right. And another angel came out from the altar, which which had which bad power uh, uh, over fire and cry with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle saying, thrust in the sharp sickle and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth for her grapes are fully ripe, ripe. And the angel thrust in his sickle of the earth and gathered the vine of the earth and cast it into the great rind press of wrath. The Lord is coming to, oh, it's going to be horrific and scary chaos and great power, right? When he comes, okay? That's that, as a matter of fact, 2nd Ezra's uh, 13, when he, he said all he saw, let's go to it. Because he's going to come in the midst of that World War Three. Is they're fighting, they're fighting uh, each other, and they're going to stop fighting and try to fight the Lord, man. All right, I'm going to get that. But it says, let me finish Revelation uh, 14th chapter. Then I go to the last few piece ups. And the wine press was trodden without the city, and blood came out of the wine press, even into the horses' bridles, but the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. That's a that's a, a river of blood, man. And a, and a horse's bridle is about a good uh, six and a half to seven feet tall. All right. That's a lot of blood. But let's go to these last few precepts. Oh, yeah. Second Ezra. All right. Thirteen. And well, I could read one through thirteen, but I just want to jump right up to it for time's sake. Uh yeah, starting at verse eight, second Ezra thirteen and eight. And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered to fight and subdue him was so afraid and yet durst fight. So in the midst of World War Three, they're going to be fighting each other. And then those chairs are going to show up and they're actually going to try to fight the Lord with their space force and all that. And they're going to realize that they have they don't they don't stand a chance, man. It's like a, a, a fly versus a flask water. All right. An ant versus a boot. All right. And lo, as he as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand nor held a sword or any instrument of war, but only I saw that sent out of his mouth as it were a blast of fire and out of his lips as it were a flaming breath and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests and all were mixed together in the blast of fire and flaming breath and a great tempest. So we're talking about a tornado of concentrated fire lasers. Fell upon violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight and burn them up every one so that upon a sudden of the innumerable multitude nothing to be perceived but only dust and the smell of smoke when i saw this i was afraid the lord's going to turn them to powder all right when that uh let's go to zachariah when that curse that, that cometh over the earth and, and come and destroy Esau, all right? Take him out of power and put the, his elites that are going to be in the hiding in those bunkers, they're going straight into slavery. They're going to go from, from uh, riches to rags instantly. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked and behold a flying roll. That's what, they, that's what they're calling UFOs and UAPs. And they sent unto me, what seest thou? And I said, I see a flying roll, the lift thereof, 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof, 10 cubits. And then he said unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the whole face of the earth, over the whole earth, the face of the whole earth. For every one that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side, according to it. So who stole? They stole America. They stole, they stole every Australia, Canada, every place where Esau is, he stole uh, uh, the islands, the Pacific islands, the South 
Pacific Islands, the South Atlantic Islands. They stole everything. They stole the apple of the Lord's eye, his people, and sold them into slavery. That's why devil's got to be done unto them. But he says, uh, then he said unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the whole, over the face of the whole earth for everyone that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side, according to it. And everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side, according to it. And I will bring be it forth, say if you howl of hosts, and I shall enter into the house of the thief. And that's mainly here in America because the G7 is, is mainly run and controlled out of America. All right. In that movie, the rumor he bragged about, and it's weird too. They made the most British dude the the uh, the American president. <laughs> All right, it was crazy. <laughs> he he with a British accent and everything. <laughs> it's like like he was born in the <laughs> anyway. It says, uh, "And I will bring it forth," said the, the uh, Yahweh of hosts, "and shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name, and it shall remain." In the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof, to with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. Then the angel that talked to me went forth and said unto me, Lift up now thine eyes and see what it is that goeth forth. And it was it's it's Yahushai. Yahushai coming to wreak havoc, destroy the hills and the mountains. All right? The hills being small governments. The mountains being the large governments, there will be no BRICS, there will be no G7, there will be no America, no China, no Russia, no Britain, none of that. All right. The Lord is coming to, to, to set up his priest, 144,000, the new government, the new Jerusalem coming down, the heaven on earth. And I saw a new heaven coming down from heaven. And that's what the time we is the end of their age and the beginning of ours. Jacob is the, is uh, it, uh, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And we're at the time of it that followeth. Call hello, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Kahakwadash, Kwam Yasharala, Abad Babal.